Google Today published a doodle to honor what would have been the 107th birthday of which he was considered the best comedian of Mexico, a surprising example of overcoming, and although he enjoyed the profits of his 49 successful films, he never stopped helping those who were in need. Cantonflis glorified, exceptionally, the ingenuity and dignity of our people, former President Carlos Salinas de Gortari. 1. He was born in Mexico City and as a teenager he worked for a circus. The actor was born on August 12, 1911 in Santa Maria la Ribera, a suburb of Mexico City, and was baptized with the name of Mario Fortino Alfonso Moreno Reyes. Its origins were very humble. He was one of the eight children of Maria de la Soledad Reyes Guizar and Pedro Moreno Esquivel. His father worked as a postman reports the site Biographia Civita. According to the New York Times, as a child he earned money singing and dancing in the streets, and when he was a teenager, he joined a traveling tent show. It was there that he would adopt the stage name Cantonflis, which, according to a 1992 interview, was a name invented to prevent his parents from knowing that he was in the entertainment business, since they considered it a shameful profession, reported the publication Heavy. L. The impact of the Cantonflis character was so great that the Royal Academy adopted it as a verb. Cantonflis means, speaking or acting in a crazy and incongruous way and without saying anything with substance. You can be interested, Ice reveals who were the culprits of his last massive raid, video. Around 1930, Cantonflis was forced to stand for the master of ceremonies during a show, and the New York Times reported that the actor was so nervous that his words came out confused. The public had fun with his talk without meaning and was when he was born his character who stuttered and to which he added baggy pants, a rope instead of a belt and a mustache. 2. He debuted in the cinema in 1936 and became the most famous Mexican actor. After perfecting his performance in the circuses, Cantonflis met with the publicist and producer Santiago Ricci, who was convinced that he would be able to turn the comedian into a star. The two founded Posa Films in 1939 and obtained a great success the following year with There Is The Detail. The 1941 Neither Blood, Nor Arena, Neither Blood, Nor Sand, was an even greater success that broke box office records throughout Latin America and made Cantonflis a household name. He would continue to flourish throughout the 1940s, with notable titles like El Gendarme Desconocido, I Am a Fugitive and El Mago. Three. Winner of Golden Globe and Oscar Cantonflis made the transition to Hollywood in the 1950s and appeared in the film adaptation of Around the World in 80 Days, which earned him a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actor in a Musical or Comedy and he won the Oscar for the Best Film. You can be interested, the Mexican peso was painted red by sinking the Turkish lira it followed 80 Days with Pepe, a comedy that earned him a second Golden Globe nomination and included cameos from legends such as Frank Sinatra, Bing Crosby and Judy Garland. However, Pepe had a lower performance at the box office and, feeling that the language barrier would impede his career in Hollywood, the comedian returned to Mexico and began making films under the production label Cantonflis Films. 4. He donated half of his annual profits to charities in Mexico City. During its heyday of 1950, Cantonflis earned more than $1.5 million a year and was mentioned by the Los Angeles Times as the highest paid comedian in the world. He owned five houses, an extensive art collection, a pool, a bowling alley, a theater and several beauty salons. But Cantonflis supported those who needed it. According to Heavy, Cantonflis donated half of its annual profits to various charities and families in Mexico City. In 1966 alone, he donated more than $175,000 of his own money. He supported more than 250 indigent families in the poor neighborhood of Granges, in Mexico City, and later built 64 apartment houses that he sold to these families for a fraction of their value. 5. He was married once and died in 1993 at the age of 81. Cantonflis was married only to Valentina Ivanova Zuberf on October 27, 1936. Although they never had children, Cantonflis was Mario's father with another woman in 1961. Cantonflis and Valentina they adopted and changed their full name to Mario Arturo Moreno Ivanova. 
The renowned actor died in 1966 in Mexico City at the age of 81 years. Thousands of people gathered outside the funeral home where Cantonflis's body lay. In that President Carlos Salinas de Gortari paid his respects there and issued a statement that said, Cantonflis exceptionally glorified the ingenuity and dignity of our people, recalled the New York Times. The degree to which he was idolized was never more evident than in